What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Pikmin. Number 10. Even though the naming nomenclature fits with NASA's method of identifying unimportant planets, the Pikmin planet PNF-404 in Pikmin 3 is potentially a pun. 404 is the HTML status code for Page Not Found or PNF. Number 9. GameCube discs of Luigi's Mansion, Super Mario Sunshine, The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, and the original Pikmin were originally going to be unique treasures to collect in Pikmin 2. Their textures can still be found inside the game's files. Number 8. When Pikmin 3's characters were just starting to be released, there were four playable characters. A, which became Alf, B, which became Brittany, C, which became Charlie, and D. Nobody knows what happened to the character D, but it's speculated that because the crew's ship is named the Drake, many aspects of character D were given to the ship. Number 7. The logo on the Flame of Tomorrow treasure in Pikmin 2 features Bowser from the Super Mario franchise, but only in the US and European versions. In the Japanese version, the brand is instead listed as Sun Breath, and the Bowser illustration is removed. Number 6. The Awakening Wood location in Pikmin 2 has the exact same layout as the Forest of Hope from the first game. In the entry for the geographic projection, which is found in the Awakening Wood, Almer says that he quote explored the forest the last time he was here, but it has undergone some dramatic changes, end quote, and that he has quote given the forest a new name, end quote. Both of those quotes suggest that the areas are the same. Number 5. In Pikmin, there are unused textures found of all ranks of red and blue Pikmin carrying bomb rocks. This was removed for some reason, and thus the ability was exclusive to yellow Pikmin. This restriction was most likely chosen to give the yellow Pikmin more significance, as the ability to be thrown higher than other Pikmin does not come into play as often as the red Pikmin's or blue Pikmin's more prominent abilities, and the electrical hazards were not added until Pikmin 2. The universal ability to wield bomb rocks was later added to Pikmin 3. Number 4. Because Olimar is carrying a bottle cap in Pikmin 2's intro, it could mean that he has the strength of at least 4 Pikmin. Number 3. Many of Pikmin 2's treasures were changed when the game was localized in different regions. Many of the treasures in the original Japanese game were based on Japan-only brands and cultural references. These were changed to more appropriate brands and references in each region. This is the reason why disc mystery-based treasures are Japan-only, as well as the survival series being US-only. Number 2. Unused data in Pikmin 2 includes a 7th Pikmin type, the 6th being Bulbman. Hacking the game and giving the player this type reveals that they are actually Pik Pik carrots. They don't have much animation, and they float above the ground a bit. Their stems always have a leaf on top, even if a bud, flower, or spicy glow overlaps it. It is also green when idle, like Bulbman. They act, react, and sound like any other non-Bulbman Pikmin, and have no special attributes or defenses. Finally, on the HUD, their standby Pikmin icon doesn't exist, and they get skipped over when calculating the closest Pikmin. Number 1. The first Pikmin game was based on a tech demo called Super Mario 128, and was designed to showcase the GameCube's ability to utilize multiple AIs. The game demo featured 128 Marios, dismantling a pseudo 8-bit Mario sprite composed of several blocks by picking up and carrying them away. The demo also featured the ability to warp terrain, which influences the freeform gravity in Super Mario Galaxy. The demo later became Pikmin, after Shigeru Miyamoto asked his team to create an entirely new game that would be nothing like a sequel to a Mario game. Alright, that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about Pikmin. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or a game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.